Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's Videocast. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post. And we are now joined by Nolan Peacher of Howell Football. Um, if you did not know, the Highlanders are coming off a big win over Heartland on Friday. Hey, Nolan. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Um, so we're in, th- we're halfway through the season. Yes, there is six games, but we've reached the halfway point. Um, so far, you guys are 2-1. and one. You've won your last two games. Obviously, the first one was tough, but the last two have been pretty good, including beating a rival. So far, how do you think everything's going? Uh, I mean, we started off slow week one, obviously. We played Plymouth. They came out, and they had way more energy than us. And I think since then, we've worked on having more energy in practice, so it translates to games, having better weeks of practice. And I think we're getting better and better each week. And – that showed in our win against Harlan last week. We've got to keep getting better, though. Yeah. Um, so your progression as a quarterback this year, you're only a junior. But how do you think you've grown in these last three games? Uh, I think I've grown a lot, especially, like, mentally. I mean, first game I came out, I had three picks. And coaches told me to keep keep working hard. And I have got to more comfortable in the offense and everything. and. I've done, been doing better and better each week, so hopefully I can keep it up and do better next week. New coaching staff on the, of course, as everyone knows, there's a new coaching staff on Howell this year. What's it been like working with Coach Lewis and all the and all the assistant coaches? It's been awesome. I mean, Coach Lewis has helped me a lot. He's helped me become a better quarterback, and I think he's turning the program into something special. Okay, so you guys got Novi this this week. Novi's a uh, Novi's been pretty, you know. Their the record does not speak for themselves. Of course, um, they got a big win against Plymouth. Yeah, um, you guys are going there on the road. They're they're a pretty tough team after they uh, did not get a chance to play Week One. What's it going to be like heading up there? Yeah, they're they're a tough team. Our coaches have been telling us since Sunday that we can't go in lightly. I mean, just because we beat Harlan, Novi's a tough team, and they're going to bring it every week. And, yeah, we got to be prepared this week. How's the transition been from vars- from JV to varsity? Um, not as big as I would have thought, but it's a pretty big difference from JV to varsity. The speed, everything, everyone's bigger, stronger, faster. So, um, Who's kind of really helped you, you know, get – as trying to find, you know, like you're the starter – yeah. How have you been – who's kind of, like, been the senior that's really helped you the most throughout trying um, to do all this? Marcus Chester, he's helped a lot. Um, Tom Powelski, tight end, defensive end. Zach Metz, he's been a big help. Yeah, pretty much – those three are three big ones, probably. Who's your favorite um, – do you like throwing the ball, running the ball, or handing it off? Um – I mean, I like throwing and running, but I mean, there's sometimes in the games where you need to run, and I like running over kids, through kids, around kids, whatever. But I mean, throwing the ball is always fun too. So, you know, obviously, how different has it been, you know, with all the new ounces of that COVID has brought to this, and we didn't even know that we were going to get a season. Yeah, but I mean, uh, we, how different has it been, Nolan? It's been it's been pretty different. I mean. I never played a varsity game, so I never experienced a student section or, like, whatnot. But, I mean, it's not what I exactly thought a varsity game would be my whole, like, life coming up to this. But, I mean, it's still been a great experience so far and looking forward to more to come. Of course, uh, after, you know, I don't want to get ahead of – I don't want to get ahead of your – I don't want to get ahead of myself or ahead of yourself. But – there is the I think I don't know if they're going to have a, with all the new ounces of, you know, with the with, from coming from the governor's office, but it, there could be, could be a student section for Brighton. Yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. I mean, that'd be that'd be that'd be sweet if we could have kids come to the game against Brighton for sure. Yeah, but um, but looking you know looking at all, overall these six games, it feels like. What's been the? I know you weren't on varsity last year, but what do you see as the biggest difference with this team that you've noticed? No one. Um, I think 
how everyone's like coming together and learning that the team is more important than themselves and that we have to be a team together to win together. And I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense, bud. Yeah. Um, you know, how, ex- so what's been your best moment all year long? Favorite play, favorite, whatever. Um, so we had a little bit of struggle scoring to start, obviously, the first two games. Salem, we notched open a little bit. But then the first touchdown against Heartland, I think that really unleashed the floodgates. And finally, we were like, okay, we can score. And that was a pretty sweet moment for me so far. Who's your favorite target to throw to? Um, well, as I throw my first two touchdowns, probably Jackson Kavard. But I also have a lot of other targets. I like Ashton, Cam, right? A lot of others. So, yeah, you get to, uh, you know, with Nolan, we've seen a lot of quarterbacks and wide receivers across, you know, not just not just in Howell, but in Livingston County to reunite. Of course, Jackson was on varsity last year. Yeah. Um, what's it like to kind of reunite with him? It's nice. I mean, he's a he's really fast and he makes a lot of plays that I missed not having him last year. And overall, what's the biggest thing that you guys got to do this week against Novi? Um, well, first of all, we need to have a great week of practice, stay mentally locked in, focused. I think we just need to keep our energy up for pregame and then throughout the game and go 100% all game. Um, and also, how are you guys trying to, you know, with with everything, obviously we know that, positive cases could possibly come up with anything. We just saw it today with Rockford and Grand Haven. Yeah. What's, but what, what are you guys doing to, to keep safe and not, you know, spread the virus? Um, I mean, we try to social distance. We try to wear masks. In school, we we're supposed to try and move our desks far away from possible from other people so we're not six feet. And, yeah, trying our best to stay safe. All right. Nolan Peacher, thank you so much. Good luck this weekend against Novi, and uh, let's have you back on sometime. All right, thank you. Thanks for having me.